Okay, hi you guys. Welcome to my presentation. I'm just going to be practicing this for seminar, but I'm going to post the recording later. Zoom only gives me 40 minutes, so I have to cut five minutes out of my presentation. So this is just practice run. We're going to see how this works. So let's go ahead and start. Oops. Okay, so welcome to 25 Ways to Sell Products and Grow Your Business. My name is Lauren Richardson. I'm a crown princess from Fort Worth, Texas. Here's a little bit about me. Um, here is my family. This is my husband and my son and daughter. They're so, so cute. Um, that is my pup my dog Tucker. Um, I am, like I said, from Fort Worth, Texas. I have been in Texas for about five years, but I was born and raised in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I have been with Sedgens for almost three years, three years upcoming this summer. I am a Cineblends MUA, which I'll talk about more later, but it's awesome for growing your business. And I, I bleed blue. I love Synergens so much. This has been a huge um, blessing for me and for my family. I've been able to do great things with it. I've been able to help women feel amazing. And so I love, love, love this company. Also, I love tacos, as you can see. So, yas, let's get excited. My goal for this presentation is to give you a bunch of ways to sell your products. There are so many more ways than 25 ways, but I wanted to narrow it down to 25 and give you guys a ton of ideas so you guys can leave seminar, implement some of these, and rock your business. I want everybody to be hitting Senna sales and having the best sales of your life. So without further ado, here's the 25 ways to sell. <laughs> These are the 25 ways to sell that we are going to talk about today. I wanted to put them all on one screen so you guys could see everything we're going to talk about. So take screenshots of this. I'm going to dance a little bit while you guys take screenshots. I want you guys, you know, if anything, take a screenshot of this and take notes so you can come back to this list. Okay, couple little side notes here. Consistency is key. So if you take any of these, and you, any of these things we're gonna talk about, and you implement them, and you know you don't see sales right away, that doesn't mean you quit. Definitely keep going. Um, consistency is going to bring in those sales. So my, for instance, my first live video I ever did, I didn't get any sales from it, you guys. <laughs> No, I, I think like two people tuned in and were like on and off and didn't even watch the whole thing. But I kept going and going and going and eventually I had live sales that were making money. So you need to be consistent with it. You need to make sure that you're advertising it, you're pushing whatever you're doing and that you keep at it. Don't quit so fast just because it's not working right away. Do not do that. Commit to small things every day for big results. My biggest advice for anybody that's starting out or has been in this business forever is to commit to some small things that you can focus on every single day. Um, whether that be posting social media, doing personal development, whatever it may be, take time out of your day, maybe 30 minutes, maybe an hour, whatever you have, work on those small things, make it obtainable and something that you can accomplish in a short amount of time and keep building from there. If you are consistent, with small things, you're gonna see big, big results. And don't overwhelm yourself, you guys. These are um, definitely, there's a lot of ideas here, but I don't want you guys to look at this and get super overwhelmed and think, oh my gosh, I've gotta go home and put all these in my business right away because you're gonna burn yourself out and you're not gonna see results because you're not being consistent, you're not committing to the small things, it's just gonna to be too overwhelming. So just take a deep breath. We're going to go over a lot of stuff, take notes, and then look at those notes later, 
pick out things that you want to work on and go from there. Most of these techniques that I'm going to talk about today are significantly easier with the Sunday site because we cannot sell our products on Amazon. We can't have our own like Shopify website to sell these products. That's against compliance. We are allowed to have Sunday sites. Center sites, you're able to put in your inventory, you're able to even sell stuff that you don't have in inventory, and you can post that link anywhere you want. You can use it in advertisements, on your business cards, you can put it on flyers, I mean, you can literally do everything with it. So, a lot of these things I'm going to talk about, where we're posting on social media and we're doing all this stuff, Having a link to a site is going to convert to more sales. 100, 1,000, a million percent worth it to get a site. So I'm going to issue a challenge at the beginning of this presentation. I want you, after hearing this presentation, to go over all the topics that we talk about. Pick a few, two, three, whatever you're comfortable with. Start working on them. Start perfecting on them. Make them some of your some of the small things you're working on every day, perfect them, and then expand. I do not want any of you guys to walk out of here and think it's going to be possible to implement all 25 of these into your business right when you get home. So my challenge to you guys is to pick a couple of these, perfect them, work on them. You start to see those sales come in, and once you're comfortable with that technique, once it becomes second nature. Or once you can maybe hire an assistant to take care of it because your sales are so great and you want to work on something else, do that. Delegate those tasks that you've mastered and work on other things. There's 25 ways to sell. That doesn't mean they have to be going on in your business all at once. So pick some, work on them, make it happen, then expand. Don't overwhelm yourself. Don't overwhelm yourself. Don't overwhelm yourself. I'm speaking from experience because I have left conferences and I'm like, I have a million ideas and I try to implement them all at once. And then I get a depressive episode and then I want to sleep for a week. So don't let me. Okay. Um, make sure you're setting goals. Okay. Set daily, weekly, monthly goals and push for those goals. Sales is one of those things you can push. You can work hard. You can say, I want $500 in sales this week. I'm gonna make it happen. I only have Monday through Sunday, so what am I gonna do this week to make that happen? I like to even set my goals on monetary things almost and say, okay, I want my kid to play soccer this spring. It's gonna cost $200. I'm gonna pay for that in sales. So what am I gonna do in the next three days to get that $200 to be able to put my kid in soccer? So that that's just kind of, what I like to do, but set goals, what works for you. Make sure you're pushing hard for them. Don't wait until the end of the month to try to get your sales work from day one and work all the way to the end of the month, you guys. You guys are capable of it. I know you are. I have just a little moment to share with you guys of motivation, an exciting, an exciting motivation corner with Lauren. I want you guys all to know that you are capable of greatness. I am sure that as a woman, you have faced people that tell you you're dumb for trying. People tell you, try to make you feel guilty for wanting something for yourself. Or you tell yourself that, uh, I can't ever be like those, those top people in Synergence. I'm, I'm not good enough. I can't do it. Greatness is inside of you instead of every single one of you, and you are capable of it. You are capable of being the top. You are capable of reaching your goals. You just have to believe in yourself, and you have to push. You have to make it happen for yourself. Do not quit because somebody made fun of you, said, oh, you're in an MLM. Do not do that to yourself. That's not, that's not going to be beneficial for you. It's not going to teach your kids good things. It's just, ugh, no, don't do it. Realize that you are capable of creating a business that you are proud of, whatever that looks like, and that you are capable of going out there and making it happen. You are too amazing 
to give up on yourself. You're too amazing. Every single one of you guys in this room, every single sister that we have at seminar, you are here. You are here to learn. You are here to grow. You are here to make something you are proud of. Do not get in your head when you get home and you get back into life and you get back into kids' schedules and school and work and blah, blah, blah. There's so much that goes on in life and it's so easy. It's the easy way out to give up on yourself. But who is that helping? It's not helping you. It's not helping your kids. It's not helping your family. Like I said, you're too great. You're too amazing to give up on yourself. So please don't do it. Please realize that you have this greatness and that you are capable of it and squeeze your business into the time that you have and make it happen because you can. But don't, if it's not working right away, don't say, oh, guess it's not for me. It's not going to benefit you to do that to yourself. And this quote comes from Rudy. Do you guys know who Rudy is? If you, ha if you don't know who he is, go watch the movie called Rudy. Um, but he is a family friend. And he told my parents this. He told me this. He said, there are no true defeats in life. Your defeats will always lead you to victory. This goes back to not giving up on yourself. Anything bad or negative or any setback that you have in your life or in your business, it's not the end. It doesn't mean that you are a failure at all. It's just a, merely a bump in the road. And guess what? Those little bumps in the road, no matter how big or small, they are going to lead you to victory. They're going to lead you to your best life if you don't give up on yourself. So look at the setbacks. Look at the defeats, the fake defeats in your life and say, wow, that actually led me here. If I would have given up after my brother committed suicide or my sister died, I would have not built a million dollar business. I would have not, I wouldn't, I would not be here on this stage doing something I am terrified of. I would not. But those defeats, those setbacks, the trauma that I went through, it taught me to be strong and to not give up and to know that no matter what happens to me, I can make it. And I can make my life something that I'm proud of, that my kids are proud of, that my family is proud of. Your defeats are not true defeats. They are leading you to victory. So don't quit. Don't ever quit on yourself. You are too amazing to quit. Okay. Now that my little spiely is over, let's talk about social media. We're going to kind of dive in here. We're in the meat of the presentation. So, <coughs> excuse me. We're going to talk about ways to sell on social media. The key to steady sales on social media is steady content. You cannot post on Instagram once a month and expect a bunch of sales, right? You can't go on your stories once a year and expect that one time a year you're going to get $12,000 in sales. That's just not how it works. And I mean, it's not how any part of your business is going to work, honestly, but especially on social media, people need to be seeing you all the time to be able to kind of grow that trust because they don't see you face to face. Okay. Number one, email campaigns. These are weekly, monthly, seasonal overviews, whatever you choose of deals, live videos, events happening in your business. So you can advertise your deal of the month. You can advertise the new products or the new bundles that Synergence announces. You can announce when your live sales are going to be, when the secret VIP sale that you're going to have is going to happen because, you know, they're on your VIP email list. So kind of give them some cool little tidbits that maybe you're not sharing with anybody else. You can be so creative with this, but this is a great place to just announce everything happening in your business, to spotlight a product, to really share what's happening in your business. 
currently email is the highest converting social media platform for sales. Did you know that? Email converts really well because email goes straight to somebody's inbox. It's not on another platform that they have to log into. People generally check their email every single day, but maybe people aren't checking Facebook and Instagram every single day. Email is very high converting um, and it's worth it to give it a shot. You can showcase your, like I said, you can showcase your products, your accomplishments, the accomplishments your team had, new limited editions. You can be so creative with this. Definitely, 100%, do not forget this, remember to share how to order from you. So have a little section on there that says, are you ready to order? Here's my center site. Um, some email platforms will let you have buttons that they can click that'll take to the center site. Um, or you can just put the link and they can copy and paste it. You can use, um, there's a bunch of different programs out there for emails, email campaigns. Those center surface emails are great because you don't even have to come up with content for that. You just put in your customer's email addresses and send them, send them updates, which is so great. So I have all of my customers in the center service emails, so they get the center service emails, and then I use convert kit on top of that to make my own little newsletter thing but there's mailchimp mailchimp is in my opinion it's the cheapest one that i found um but they don't like mlms because <laughs> they don't so a lot of people get blocked from mailchimp so i mean you can start there because it's cheaper but if they decide that they don't like you there they're just gonna kick you off so <laughs> that's mailchimp um and i find mailchimp kind of my favorite. Um, you can, if you use Square, this is such an easy thing to do, but if you can use Square, Square Marketing and you can make emails, you can even um, like create buttons that say order here. Um, like it, it makes it easier for them to buy from you from, from Square, which is really cool. Um, and then Convert Kits, what I use. You can build landing pages on there to advertise. You can build funnels on there. I mean, it's very amazing. I've been using it for a while. Um, and, but it's definitely, it's more expensive than MailChimp, but it's not bad. And most of these place, most of these things that you pay for, it goes by how many subscribers you have. So zero through a thousand subscribers is a price, a thousand through three thousand is a price. So you have to end up paying more as you go, but it's okay if you're getting sales, right? This is fun. Okay, so here's an example of what I've done for my newsletter. I created this in Canva. So Canva is a free um, program that you can use online. Um, so I've got a little sneak peek section. I've got featured products. This was from July, so I showed off the new shadows that came out. Um, so what's new, I showed the tinted moisturizer, how to follow me on social media. Um, I talked about two girls joining our team in June, stuff like that. Um, so this in Canva, if you just go to the newsletter section, um, there's all these templates. So this is literally a template and I just filled it in, super easy. Okay, let's talk about drip campaigns. So. There's actually a class going on right now about drip campaigns, but I'm just going to kind of go over it a little bit here. Drip campaigns are a fun way to educate your customers and followers about a certain beauty topic. So it's basically a sales funnel that you can do in your VIP group. Um, you start with free info, um, learning, you want to teach them stuff, you want to teach them how to get results like using other products other than Cynogen's. And then you end with a hard sell. So you're selling our products at the end. You don't want to start with that because you want to build trust. You want to give them um, a ton of value, your customers a ton of value about this topic and then have the hard sell at the end. You want to make sure you're providing a lot of value here. Um, it builds trust. Drip campaigns are great for building trust. Um, and it makes you look like the expert because you are educating the people of how to, um, or about the certain topic. So this is kind of an example of a drip campaign. 
Um, I first learned about this at January Pitt, so this is kind of modeled after the one that I learned about. But you can see that it kind of starts with information about collagen, um, seven ways to boost collagen in your health, or um, what collagen does in your skin, um, how it boosts in your health. You can, I did a giveaway for a facial roller because we talked about facial massage. I threw, I just did a, a throw out uh, information about our collagen night pack. Like this is how I like to take collagen into my skin. I did a thing of pillows, how to how your pillows could be damaging your skin. I showed a results thing of collagen night pack, and then I ended with a bundle where they could save twenty five dollars. They get a gift with purchase. They get the collagen night pack and a lip balm, so they've got their like sleep awesomeness miracle kit. Okay, live videos and live sales. Facebook and Instagram favor video over posts. Been like that for a good amount of time, but video will always outperform posts on Instagram and Facebook. That's just how the platforms are. They love live, live videos too. Make it consistent, okay? Um, doing a live video just randomly every once in a while, I mean, it's fine, it's cool, but imagine what it would be like if you said, I'm having a live video every Monday at 10 a.m. having to do with makeup techniques. You can name it, uh, you can create a show, like Lauren's Makeup Monday Makeup Corner, I mean, whatever you want. You can say episode one, brows, episode two, blush, episode three, crazy Halloween makeup, whatever you wanna do. But this this kind of creates your own show. It um, people know when to show up for your videos. You can do the same with live sales. You can say you're gonna do a live sale twice a month, however you want, but you advertise this. You advertise, tune in every Monday for a makeup corner. Um, we're gonna be going over this this week. You can put this all over social media so they come back and they learn. Um, consistent live sales will bring more viewers um and more share so sharing when people share your video when it's live that brings in new people to watch and then a lot of those new people will actually end up liking your page um and just being a part of the community so they'll tune into your next live sale um and message your customer your best customers before the live sale and give them first dibs so say hey Live sales coming up on Tuesday. This is what I'm selling during the live sale, but I want to give you first dibs. So if you want any of these products, I only have two of each of these colors that I'm putting on sale. So if you want to grab any of these, do it. Um, and that's a good way to just get sales before the live sale. Um, and play games. Make it fun. Make it exciting. Um, you can get one of these spin to win wheels on Amazon. I have one it's super fun. My kids love to play with it. You can put prizes on there. So if a customer spends over $50, um, during the live sale, you spin the wheel and they get like a gift with purchase. Um, there is this bingo that I found that's kind of fun. These little envelopes right here. This is Jeopardy. You can play live Jeopardy. I, what, something fun I'm doing is I'm going to be cracking eggs on my head next week on a live sale, so that will be fun as well. Um, but, I mean, there's so many fun things you can do. I've seen people pop balloons with confetti. I mean, I've seen people do, like, Plinko or whatever. What's that thing called? Plinko? Whatever it's called. Um, with the discs. So there's so many things you can do, you guys. Make it creative. Make it fun. Okay. Let's talk about Instagram stories. People are watching Instagram stories more, more than they are seeing the posts in your Instagram feed. I kid you not, that is true. So being on your Instagram stories every single day is crucial, okay, crucial. Um, this is a great way to show your personality, to apply the makeup, um, to talk about products, and people really get to know you better in a video than they do in a picture. Um, you can even save these videos from your Instagram story into highlights um, and save it into your profile. So when people go into your profile, the first thing they see are your highlights. Um, 
you can do get ready with me, makeup demos, show off the products. I mean, it's basically like a live video only on Instagram stories. And you can do live videos on Instagram, which I highly suggest doing as well. So here's some clips of mine. You don't have to look cute all the time, guys. You don't have to look snatched. Clearly, I don't right here. Um, this is my Instagram, Justin Dallas Beauty. You can come follow me, say hey. Um, you can see that in my description, I have how to order these things with a the little arrow on the smiley face. Those are my highlights, so people can click on those, and they're like themed videos. Um, and then here is where I was talking about the new um, one of the bundles that we just had. So advertising the bundle in my stories so people knew about the sale. Next. Thank you. Next. Okay. Number five, YouTube videos. YouTube is so fun. Is anybody else obsessed with YouTube? I love YouTube. You can learn anything you want on YouTube, you guys. If you want to learn more about how to rock Instagram, go search on YouTube. Seriously. <coughs> so YouTube has its own little beauty community on it, which is so cool. Um, YouTube videos are a great way to show off how our products work and how we use them. You can do tutorials, you can do little demos on the product, um, social wowing videos, so doing like rubbing your hand, rubbing your face, throwing water in your face, whatever. Um, behind the scenes videos is great. A good length, the most popular length on YouTube that people watch is five to ten minutes. So you don't have to make it super long. There are super long videos out there, which isn't bad, but people don't have very long um, uh, what is the word? Oh my gosh. People don't pay attention for very long. That's what I'm trying to say. So the shorter the videos, the better. Um, and on your videos in YouTube, there's a description of the video. So under there, you link every single product you are using. So that's where the Cinecite comes in. You can link individual products from your Cinecite put it in your YouTube video description. So you have somebody watching your beauty tutorial on how to do this fun, cute, smoky eye. All the products are listed below. You advertise it in your video and say, hey, if you're interested in any of the products, look below. You can also put your social media on there so people can go follow you on Instagram. The description bar is pretty much the greatest thing ever. Um, YouTube videos are highly searchable and shareable. Think of YouTube as another Google. So people can search LipSense and all these videos come up with LipSense. Think of if you made a video of you applying LipSense, it could be searched and you could have views and you can bring in followers and more customers. Yay! So this is my YouTube channel. You can follow me if you'd like. Um, just search Dressing Dallas, which is my blog. Um, but you can see this video is called Three Ways to Rock Green and Rock Eyeshadow Makeup. So I did this during March, like before um, uh, St. Patrick's Day. I went over the 10 minute mark, but it's okay. You don't have to tell anybody. But you can see this little screenshot here is of my description. So I say here's three easy makeup looks that incorporate greener gold. And then I link all these blue right here, all that blue. Those are links to my send site. So people can click on those and go buy those products just from my site. Um, and then I link my social media. Okay, bundle deals. I freaking love bundle deals. And I love the sentence just making bundle deals. Like how great is that? So bundle deals, basically you bundle similar products together to drive larger sales plus add volume to or add value to your customer. Um, the products in the bundle, you can discount them or you can offer gifts with purchase. I suggest doing gifts with purchase to add value versus taking away value from the products with a discount. I do a little mix of both, but I love doing a gift with purchase, kind of like what I showed you on the last screen um, with the pillowcase, adding that, because we talked about how a, a traditional pillowcase can hurt your skin. So I put a silk pillowcase in the bundle, so they don't have to worry about it. Um, these are great for drip campaigns, email campaigns, live videos, advertising, seasonal sales. What I mean, they're they're perfect for everything, you guys. They're so amazing. I love bundle deals. So I mean, look, we have Easter coming up. You can create a bundle deal for Easter. So like three shadows, 
and in a cute little Easter makeup bag or something. I don't know if they make Easter makeup bags, but you could put it in a little Easter basket. I don't know. Y'all are creative. But you can create an Easter bundle so people can have those products delivered to them for their Easter baskets. So here's some bundle deals I've done in the past. Um, so this one, Happy National Lash Day, buy a mascara plus primer or mascara plus eye sand, eye sand <laughs> and receive a free lash curler. So I found lash curlers um, in a big pack on Amazon. It's really cheap. So I was adding this whole thing to the bundle, but it wasn't costing me a ton of money to do it. So I come out with um, more pro more more profit in my pocket. Um, so this one by Starter Kit, get a cute scrunchie. I bought those in a big pack as well. Um, buy a foundation and a Foops, get a pearlizer sample for free. Using our samples as gifts with purchase is a great idea because you are essentially going to upsell them later. You ask them how they liked it and say, okay, well, it's a full size, here you go. You wanna buy it, okay. Um, buy mascara, eyeliner, and shadow scents, get a free eyeshadow brush, tons of ideas. Okay, number seven, advertising. So this one's a little more advanced, a little more complicated. I don't suggest diving into this one first, especially if you're a beginner, but do what you want. That's just my little advice. Um, you can pay as little as $1 a day to advertise your business on Instagram, Facebook, and Google. $1 a day. Um, start small and experiment. Take a class on how to run ads. Facebook has a class, I think, for like 150 bucks. You can take on how to run Facebook ads and um, get the most bang for your buck. This is also a place where, where having a set of site is really helpful because you can advertise a cute wowing video um, and say, and have a button that says shop here, link it to your set of site, people can buy. Um, again, people respond best to videos and this is great for finding new customers and recruits. So that's all I'm gonna say about that really um, because I'm not, this is one of those complicated topics that I could talk about forever, but I'm not going to because it's a lot. So this is kind of a screenshot of something that I did. So this is my Facebook page. Um, this is me just kind of bringing in women that are like me to my Facebook page, not necessarily even selling a product. I just want pe more people to like my page. So this, that screenshot's like of a little wowing video that I made. Um, but you can target your location, you can target women, ages 25 to 45, or whatever you want to do. This one, I made it specifically to DFW, where I live, but you can do whatever the heck you want, girl. Do it to it. All right, demo videos. This is a great way to wow on social media. Great way. They, you can show off how our products work. So the lip scent, smudging on your hand, you can do the eye scent, you can put, do a full face of makeup, jump in a pool and get out and say, look girl, I look good still. You can get so creative. I saw a funny one, <laughs> it was so funny you guys, like, um, it was a girl and they had a bunch of like her husband and her kids, like put a pie in her face, put water on her, like they went crazy and her makeup stayed on. like. If I was in the distributor, I would have bought from that girl right away because that was such a cute video. You can also repurpose these videos, um, upload them to YouTube, use them in your IG stories, um, use them for advertising. I mean, put them in your emails. Like, you can use them for so much. So, making these videos is great. I still use some of my original videos three years later. Um, you can shoot them from your iPhone or Android. Um, I use the app InShot, super easy. Or you can shoot it from like a DSLR camera or a point and shoot camera and use Final Cut Pro or iMovie or anything like that to just edit it together and go to YouTube because there's a ton of tutorials on that. Okay, so this is a wowing video that I made for our Cine Takeover that we did in February. So I'm showing off <coughs> the smudge proof liner. I'm off of sense. And this I filmed on my phone at literally 11 o'clock at night. So the, I mean, it's not perfect. The lighting's not perfect. But hey, it works. So that's the lip sense. These are the shadows. But you didn't know you can do that on your hand with shadows too. So again, I just filmed this on my 
I use InShot to edit it from my phone. Really. And I use this all over. I use this on advertising. That's great. Next. All right, Facebook Marketplace. This is a great way to reach local people looking for lip sets. Um, you can take a picture of yourself. You can use pictures of new bundles that come out, whatever you want, and make a listing. You want to make sure you're compliant. Of course, we don't want to be selling more than 15% off, but this is a great place to share your bundles, to share the synergies promotions, to share the new stuff that comes out. Um, if you are consistently posting new listings, like one a week or whatever it looks like to you, that helps you become more visible. Um, I have to tell you that one of my friends was having major success on Facebook Marketplace, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this, and I didn't have success at first. I was like, I don't think this is gonna work for me. Um, but I just kept being consistent, and after a couple weeks of posting to the Marketplace, I started getting mad dog sales, y'all. So, don't give up. Um, so yes, bundles, um, upselling is great. So what I like to do is if people see my stock and they're like, oh girl, I need a plum pretty. And I'm like, okay, cool. Um, you're local. Okay. So we have this other bundle deal that's going on. Do you want to grab that? Or have you tried our tinted moisturizer? Do you want to try that? Um, and so I try to sell them and talk to them about what kind of makeup they like what they've used from Synergents, I tried to offer them a good bundle or something just to make the transaction more than just one lip sense. So make sure you're telling them about other products. Tell them to join your VIP group on Facebook. Tell them how to text to order or email you or go to your website. I mean, make sure you're communicating with them and turn them into a customer for life. It's a great way to meet people. So these are some things that I've done. Um, I took a picture of all the pink lip scents in stock that I had. Um, and I also advertise like join the Facebook group and text to order. So these are just some listings that people see and they'll be like, oh, I want Florida Lisa. I say, cool, right now, if you spend $75 or more, you get free shipping um, or you get a free um, tester or whatever. So I like to say things like that. So I'm making the transaction larger. Okay. Um, so like I said, when they ask if it's available, I ask them what colors they're interested in. I let them know the promotions I have going on that week. Um, this was this example was during lip week that I had going on. So we were having a contest to see who could sell the most lip products. So I said, okay. All lip products are 15% off. You get a free gift with purchase for orders over $70. You get free local pickup if you are in Fort Worth or um, free shipping for orders over $100. If you don't want to hit $100, shipping is $4. Um, I sold $1,500 of stock that week, you guys, because I was upselling and bundling and getting to know my customers and what they wanted. And then I asked them to join my VIP group. So all those people are in my VIP group now. They comment. They love me. They love me. All right. Ten. Mystery boxes and subscription boxes. You guys, this is so fun and so creative. This is a great way to move stock in your inventory. Right now, I have a lot of Kiss for a Cause. I went crazy on Kiss for a Cause for some reason, but I've got like 15 or 20. Like I've got a lot. And so I did mystery bags and I made sure that I had a kiss for a cause in every single one so I could move that stuff. Um, you create bags with a couple items plus gifts and samples and set each bag at a price. So a solid price. Um, and they pick a number for the, this is for mystery bags. They pick a number with what they want to buy, you invoice them and they get a free fun surprise in the mail. Um, you can also create subscriptions. So I do this. I have a lip subscription where um, you sign up. You have to commit to at least six months of this, but you sign up and you get lip scents for $22 instead of $25. And I, I just say make a wish list and I send you a surprise every week. Subscription boxes are super popular right now. So get with the trends, girl. Okay, so... Here's an example of what I did. This was during Halloween time. 
So it was $60, $65 per bag. Each bag is labeled with the category of the product. So I had face, lips, face and body, lips, eyes, and a mix of stuff. I filled it with $60 worth of products plus testers and gifts. So um, I believe the total value or no. So the total value was $65 or $60 of products. But when you're adding those testers and those gifts, um, that makes it more value to them. And it's still compliant. You guys know exactly what I'm saying. Um, so once it's claimed, once somebody claims that bag, then I post an updated picture of the bag. It's like a cute little Halloween graphic. So I'm like, okay, number two is gone. Well, we got four more, guys. Get one before they're gone. You guys get it. Okay, influencer marketing collaborations. Okay, so I've been an influencer for about five years. Um, this can be a little bit of a tricky area, but it can be helpful. So pick, if, you're, if you want to work with an influencer that you see online, Make sure that their following is a following of people that would be our ideal customers. So for me, my ideal customers are moms like me, with little kids, don't have time to put on a ton of makeup, but want their makeup to stay all day. They want to feel pretty, they want to feel print, but they want everything to just be like there all day. So don't have to worry about it because I got a bunch of kids. Um, so that's my idea of following. So if I wanted to work with an influencer, I'd probably want to look for a mom blogger um, that's got little kids like me that I could see being being friends with. Um, you can go into their followers and look at their followers and see if their followers match that too. Um, the thing about influencers is a lot of the bigger influencers require you to pay them to post. So I do this too. This is pretty standard, industry standard. Um, if you want a dedicated Instagram post, stories, whatever it is, they're going to ask you to pay them because it's their job. And being an influencer is their job. Um, so you can, you can choose to do that if you want. Um, you can also just send them free product and say, hey, if you love it, I'd love if you showed it off on your Instagram stories. That's more of a risk, obviously, because not everybody's going to show off the product. But sometimes they do, sometimes they love it and they show it off in their Instagram stories. They can drive people to your profile. Um, they can even join your team. I've had some join my team. Too. So um, that it can be tricky, it can be a risk. That's why you do your research and make sure their following is one that you would want to come to you. Um, collaborations between businesses is even more powerful so you can, get together with other businesses that maybe aren't like another side juice distributor, but maybe a cute boutique, um, maybe a mom blogger, get together, put a giveaway together, or like go live on each other's profiles or go share each other on your stories, whatever it is. But you also want to pick um, followings that match your niche or your ideal customer, but in a different niche. Um, and just kind of help each other grow. Collaborating like that is a great way to grow everybody's business. So for that, okay, so number 12. I know I'm going through this kind of fast, but we only have 45 minutes, and you guys can do research on this stuff too. Number 12, giveaways and games. Giveaways and games are great for creating engagement, helping boost the algorithm. So people that are participating, um, they, that's going to boost the algorithm and help people to um, see what's going on in your group. So some giveaway ideas, lip bucks, free product giveaway, a bundle giveaway, so fun gifts and products, free makeover, game ideas, roulette, spin the wheel for prizes, lip, lip, lip scents, that's supposed to be lip, lip scents. Tons of things you can search. There's tons of graphics groups out there you can search for. Um, get creative, make it fun. I'd say do this often because this kind of gets people excited to be in your group and to participate. So here's some things that I've done and some things that other people have done. This giveaway right here, I went to Marshalls and spent like maybe 70 bucks on all this cute stuff on these bags, the sunglasses, the lip gloss cup. 
Um, I threw in some products in there, obviously, but I just did this fun giveaway and it helped bring a lot of people to my group and I didn't have to spend a ton of money for all of that stuff. Um, the battle lips was so fun. My customers got to pick little like spots and if they sunk the ship, um, they got like a discount. You can do how many things are in the jar. This right here comes from my girl, Tiffany. Um, this is a roulette. So she had everybody buy a glass for $22 and I think that included shipping. And then, um, the there was going to be a random person that gets like a free pair of earrings for purchasing one of those glasses so fun okay let's go into ways to sell in person ah, wowing i know you guys have heard a bunch of stuff about wowing but i'm going to go over it because it's very important so this is one of synergence's cornerstone ways to grow it's using her products to make people say wow wow don't you want to say wow well about your makeup? I mean, I'm not crazy. This requires you to talk to people. Now, if you are introverted, you hate talking to people like me, this can be an extremely scary and difficult task. But I promise, you know, people maybe will give you weird looks, but it's okay. You'll never see them again. So just go for it. Um, so wow people, if they ask about your stripes, wearing them, talk to them about it. Um, and say, hey, I do giveaways every week. Um, so can I get your information? So what I do is I give them a beauty book and I have a sticky note inside and say, okay, let me get your name and phone number. Um, so I can contact you if you win the giveaway and they get the beauty book. I get their information on the sticky note. I keep it. Um, and then I have their information and everybody's a winner. So I'm going to contact them eventually and say, Hey, you want a free makeover or you want a free gloss or whatever I'm going to do that week, meet up with them do a demo. Tools to help you wow, stripes, your wow bags, car decals, laptop cases, clothing. You all get the picture. So many fun things. Okay, let's move on. Number 14, demos, parties, and mega parties. I love this stuff. You can do one-on-one, -on -one, you can do a big group, you can do a small group, you can do it however you want and get creative. You can do a broad demo with all the products, kind of like what Joni shows or you work through all the products at once, or you can narrow it down and work on a certain category. So eyes, you can do an eye demo. You can do a skincare demo. You can break it down because eventually it's all going to lead to them seeing all the products anyways. Ask your customer what they want to see. If they are getting their friends together for a demo with you, say, okay, do you want to see everything and just go over it really fast? Or do you want to do a specific skincare or eyes or something like that? Um, In-person demos are an easy way to generate big sales fast. You can get creative, makeup classes or workshops, skincare night, lip and sip, casual meetup at Starbucks. And if you're going to do that, ask them to bring a friend. So here's some examples. Lips and chips, because I love tacos and chips. So there we go. This, okay, so Sarah, I talked to her about this, love, love, love what she did. She had four spots available for this wake and makeup um, demo, and she didn't call it a makeover um, because she didn't want people to feel like they um, needed to, they weren't perfect looking already. So she made it all about skincare. She had four spots a flawless face workshop. So she taught them how to have a flawless face. She, she told them, don't bring your money. This is just for information. But I think she sold like $800 in products because the people loved the products so much. This is so cool. The mega parties, this is basically, um, I'm putting this in the in-person because it can be online or in-person. But um, I mostly do them online but they are multiple distributor online demos. So it's a great way for your customers to see a bunch of people hyping up surgeons products. Um, we do prizes, we do demos, we do even just fun tutorials on lifestyle stuff. So we did a Halloween once, we did like a Halloween um, craft tutorial, we did Halloween makeup tutorial. So you can just do a bunch of stuff in the group give a bunch of value and also talk about the products. So 
the customers in there are like, oh my gosh, I'm seeing all these products that I didn't, I haven't tried before. I want to try them. Um, so usually what I've done organizing my mega parties is each distributor pays $10 to be in the party and all of that money goes towards prizes. So um, the customers have a chance to win awesome prizes. So every $25 they spend, they get an entry into the giveaway. Um, the, the mega parties that I've been a part of range from $15,000 to $40,000 in sales for all the distributors, and that's about $300 to $500 per distributor in sales from one party. Freaking great. So here's our Valentine's Day. So these are all the prizes that we had to give away. Um, <clears throat> we had a bunch of tutorials and cookies and um, just like fun Valentine's Day things. Something that you'd want to come to. So it was really fun. All right, number 15, one-on-one -on -one makeover makeovers. This is where kind of MUA certification kind of comes into play here. So you want to ask for faces to help Get your MUA certification. You get the products on people and they'll fall in love. So I like to go to mom, my mom, my local mom group and say, hey, I'm working on my MUA certification. I need faces. Who wants a free makeover? Um, it helps you practice techniques on them. It helps you practice different skin tones, all that jazz. Um, the makeovers often lead to bigger demos and even a newer group sometimes. So you can, you emphasize that it's free. So say free makeover, don't, I'm not selling you anything, just a free makeover. You can ask for nominations for someone special that could use pampering. Um, you can ask people just to meet locally, either at your house or Starbucks or whatever you want to do. Okay, so let's talk about the Cineblends MUA certification. Best program ever, so great. Okay, so after you complete your 58 faces and become a Cineblends MUA, you can now market yourself as a pro. So guess what you can do? You can go do makeup on people for weddings and proms and special events. And you can charge them for it, you guys. You can charge them. So do a little market research, see what people, other makeup artists are charging in your area, and start marketing yourself. You are gonna use Cineblends products on these people and they're going to love the products, so you're not only going to be paid for being a makeup artist for their event, but you're also going to get sales too. And you can also take pictures and build your portfolio so people know um, <clears throat> like the kind of work you do. So the Center Blends MUA certification is meant to build your portfolio, get you practice, and make it so you can mark yourself as an MUA and get sales. Hooray! Okay, 17 is vendor events. So, who's done a vendor event? Who's done a vendor event? You done a vendor event? I've done a vendor event. These can be a great way to see a ton of people in a short amount of time. People come to you to shop, which is why I love them. You don't have to go out searching for people. Um, it can be an investment, though. I've seen vendor events be $100, $50, and range anywhere from $1,500. It just depends on how big the event is. Do your research to see what kind of attendees are coming, if it's your target market, what the sales are like in the past, and be smart about which vendor events you choose. Um, you can make fun bundles again. See, there's the bundles. I love them. Make bundles that you sell. So if somebody's trying on lip sense and they're like, okay, I want current honey rose, say, sweet, awesome. Did you see this bundle over here? This is only happening during the event. You get all these products for this price. If you want to add it to your cart, I guarantee you upsell a ton of people that bundle. Um, have fun in your booth. Um, create a fun theme. You can have fun things like photo booth, videos, candy. Make sure you're smiling at people. Um, and you want to make sure you have things like lighted mirrors, plenty of testers to play with, all that fun stuff. So here's kind of some setups. This is me um, at my first ever vendor event. So cute. But so you can see there's pictures of the shades of everything. There's testers out, there's cute decor, sparkles, all that fun stuff. All right, number 18 is kiosks. 
the kiosks in the mall. These are a great way to grab sales at local malls. Um, you can contact the mall store at the kiosks. Be sure to do your research on this too. Make sure the malls have good foot traffic. Make sure they're not putting you in a random corner of the mall where nowhere go, no one, no one goes. Make sure you get a good spot, all that stuff. You can choose to work the kiosk every single day, or you can split it up into shifts and um, have other distributors participate and rent it with you. Um, it's usually cheaper to rent a spot at the kiosk for a couple hours than go to trade shows. Um, you want to have testers and decor and all that stuff, just like a trade show. The thing about kiosks is it's a very big commitment if you are renting it. If you don't have people that sign up for that day, people have to be at the kiosk every single day. That's the mall rule. So if nobody signs up, you're going to be at the mall yourself. So it's definitely not for everybody. It's definitely a time commitment. But if you've got a strong group of distributors in your area that want to do this together, go for it. I have. At kiosk, during kiosk shifts, I've done anywhere from $55 in sales to $700 in sales in four hours. So it's a great thing. Here's an example of a kiosk that I saw that I thought was really cute. Cute, cute. All right, number 19, pop-up shops. These are temporary setups in places like malls, stores, homes, community centers, schools, and churches. Um, you can collaborate with other businesses and create your own pop-up shop, shopping event. You can do it at your house um, or a community center. It's usually a smaller setup, so just like a table with all your stuff on it. The cost is usually lower, um, but sales can be really great during these shopping events, especially if you advertise it really, really well. You can um, do a theme. You can make it seasonal. You want to make sure you have all the stuff that you would have at a vendor event. Um, and you can even go to local stores and ask if they let people do set up tables in their store. I know um, stores will let you do that and just have a little setup where people can try because it's going to bring people into their store to shop, but it's also going to attract people to you as well. So definitely you can do your research and find places to do your little pop-up shops. Um, and just have a fun little place to demo for the day. Number 20, business to business. So this is something that I learned from Joni, um, and it's freaking genius. I believe she did this last year at seminar. Um, <clears throat> so basically, you go business to business, and you wow. So you wow the front desk, you wow the receptionist, and say, hey, I've got this great makeup and skincare. Um, I'd love to talk to your manager about setting up in your break room to teach a class. Um, you tell the manager that you can help um, increase productivity and decrease time wasters by eliminating printing because your makeup doesn't come off. So what will happen is you will either get the manager to say, sweet, do this class for the females in my office, or you wow the receptionist with a lip sense and she's all about it and you get her info and you've got the receptionist as a new customer. So it's a win-win. Um, this is really cool. Joni told us that she just like picked a big office building and she just hit up all the businesses that day and got a bunch of classes set up, which I think is pure genius. Joni, you're pure genius. Okay, 21, networking events. So these usually happen locally. Do your research and see if there's anything like this in your area. Um, this is just a bunch of business people networking. Usually it's like over lunch or over dinner. Um, sometimes they have somebody that presents or there's like a little class that's taught, but um, you can tell people that you're a makeup artist so you can network that way or you can just push your standards business, whatever works. Um, and you can find people to collaborate with. So you can find new customers with other businesses, but maybe you meet a photographer and you want to pair up with a photographer and have like a photographer anyway team. You can do it that way. You can meet influencers, hairdressers, all these people at networking events. Um, and you can schedule makeovers at their business. You can schedule a spa night to treat their customers. 
I mean, the world is endless here. Just collaborating with businesses, collaborating with other people. When you collaborate with others, everybody grows. It's the best way to grow. It's the best way to do business, y'all. So do it. Okay. <clears throat> so number 22 is a new business welcome. So you visit new businesses in the area and you welcome them. Pretty basic, right? Introduce yourself. You can bring treats. I like to bring a plate of cookies. Ask to set up in the break room and just do a little demo for the employees. Um, you can also visit established businesses and introduce yourself as a new business in the area. So, hey, my name is Lauren. I'm the owner of Dressing Dolls Beauty. Um, I saw your new business in the area and I just wanted to come by and introduce you, myself. Welcome to the neighborhood. This is a great place. I was wondering if you guys wanted to collaborate and do something together. Um, I'd love to give your employees a free um, collagen makeover demo in the break room when they're on their break. Um, can I bring these cookies back there and just kind of have the setup and you don't have to worry about anything. I'll just hang out, you know, just treat your employees for the day just to welcome you into the business. So this is a great way to network with businesses, um, and even build future collaborations and long-term customers. So, great. Okay, so these are a couple little miscellaneous things, but they are great and essential. Okay, number 23 is follow-up and good customer service. So here's some fun facts for you. Follow-up facts. Did you know only 2% of sales occur at the first meeting. 2%, 2%, 98% of people will buy after a certain amount of trust is built. So basically, most you need to build some trust, pretty much with everybody. The majority of sales happen after at least five follow-ups, but more than half of sales reps give up after just one attempt. I'm so guilty of this, ugh. Don't, don't give up after the first follow-up, you guys. 92% of sales reps give up before the crucial fifth follow-up. 92% give up before the fifth follow-up. So that means only 8% of sales reps get 80% of all the sales. Because 80% of sales are happening at the fifth follow-up. Only 8% of people are getting the majority of the sales. That's nuts, okay? Don't make that you, okay? Treat your customers with good customer service and they will be around forever. I still get the majority of my sales from my current customers because I'm following up with them however often they want. And I'm like, okay, hey, this is what's going on. Are you, do you need a refill on your skincare? What's happening? Ask them how often they want to be contacted. Most of mine want to be contacted every month to just update on what's new. Um, but, you know, schedule it in your phone, put a reminder, make that happen. Always message them about new promos, new limited editions. Say, you get first pick, girl, because you're the best customer ever. Send out special thank yous and fun gifts. So at Christmas time for my um, top customers that spent the most that year. I sent out a cute little card that said, you're the bomb. And I sent them a free lip balm to say thank you as a Christmas present and just say thank you for supporting me. Um, follow up with them when trying new colors and products. Set a reminder on your phone to remember to follow up. So if they buy a new color, follow up with them in a couple days. How do you like it? Pay attention to that stuff. Hug your customers, you guys. Treat them like your BFF. That will build trust. That will make it so they want to be around forever. Okay, number 24 is referrals slash word of mouth. This one is so important. Let me tell you a little story. Joe Geary Geary-yard is the world's greatest salesman, built his empire through referrals. 91% of customers would give you a referral, but only 11% of sales reps ask for them. If you've established trust with a customer, ask for referrals. Say, hey, you love these products. Do you know anybody that would love these products? Their friends trust their opinion. 
friends referred to by a customer are four times more likely to buy from you. That's a, that's a lot, okay? Four times more likely, um, hi. Reach out to referrals, ask them questions, get to know them, start building a relationship with those referrals too. Offer a discount or a gift to your customers for giving you referrals. That'll help your business grow. <coughs> Okay, so number 25 is marketing materials. This one maybe seem kind of basic, but I find that a lot of people don't do this. So advertise where your customers can find you literally everywhere, okay? Create custom marketing materials. I know there's a lot of stuff you can buy on Etsy, and that's totally fine, totally do it, but go on Canva and create business cards and um, how to host a demo card is all that stuff and print them for really cheap on Vistaprint. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You don't have to have a big design background. Super easy. Also create stickers and put them on all your stock with your info. So when they're opening their license, they've got a sticker on there that says your email, where to your send a site, your phone number. So they know where to reorder. You can create cards that say how to apply the products, how to become a distributor, hostess rewards, where to order, where to find you on social media, and how to subscribe to text alerts and email alerts. So here's some examples of what I've done. I have a host a party card that I put in with every single order, talks about the hostess perks, and on the back, <coughs> it has my info how to contact me. This little card tells them how to sign up for text alert alerts, and this is a thank you card that talks about being a distributor, how cool it is, how to sign up at the bottom. Okay, you guys, so that's it. I want you guys to pick a couple of those and really get to work with increasing your sales. There's so many ideas for you guys. Pick what you're comfortable with and just get really good at it and then increase where you're at. So, Let's be friends on social media, okay? I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for coming. Seriously. So let's be friends. You can find me on Instagram. That's my Instagram right there. My Facebook page, my YouTube. All that good stuff. Do you guys get this picture? That's me on the friend's couch. Can it be my friend? Ha ha ha. And you guys, that's all. Thank you guys so much for coming. Please go out there and sell your heart out and make it happen. Don't give up and rock it. I want to see all of you guys hitting crazy sales goals this year. I'm excited for you. Let's do this. Woo!